Hi, I'm Jody from Roebuck Farm, west coast of the North Island in New Zealand. Today we're looking at bed prep, probably one of the most foundational aspects of the French intensive market garden using a 30 inch growing bed. This is a fork we've designed over the years, about six years of R&D, and it's been a game changer for us to allow us to create really deep living soils. This is a, an older existing bed, and this is how easy it is to prep a bed. There's no lifting, working from an angle, it, it makes really easy preparation. Here we farm under a mountain on a peninsula with really wet and windy conditions. So creating a new bed or dealing with an older bed that's got really tight and compact like this one is a little different. We really want to get the fork to full depth and when the saw's tight we're going to move back less each time with the fork. So you can see I'm only moving back 15 centimeters or something like this. It's a lot different on a existing in an existing bed where you're just doing ongoing bed prep. Also notice how I'm making sure the fork goes full depth. As I'm as I'm levering the fork in, I'm pushing the handlebar forward and giving it a little push a couple of times to really help get the fork in full depth. These beds weren't cropped last summer and they they grew with weeds and they just they haven't been cropped. That's part of the problem. They just got really tight. It's a little more work to open this up, but we're going straight back in with uh, uh, next crop, which in this case is pea shoots. The tines, the fork is 400 mils wide. There's seven tines on there. If the soil is getting blocked between the tines, you're probably way too wet and shouldn't be in there anyways. To counter lever this, you could tarp before the rains, use it as a raincoat. We do that a lot in winter. And then take the tarp off when the sun's out to be able to get into the soil. So remember, if it's sticking, probably shouldn't be in there just yet. So we're working a really tight bed, just opening it up again to allow the roots to grow down deep. The next crop going in here is pea shoots as a cover crop. First cut we sell as baby pea tendrils. And then we're just preparing the surface to be able to prep, uh, plant the next crop. This one we want the bed really flat, that's why we're just raking it level. We don't do this for other crops other than peas. You can see on our other uh, YouTube videos the, the process of sowing pea shoots. Once the bed's prepped, it's ready to seed. This is a crop of mizuna going in, but it could be anything. If we are putting in a cover crop, we're not generally using the fork. We just prepare the surface and run the five row jang over. We really love the five row jang. Super efficient tool that you can change out to a three row as well. I hope you're going well. Check out roebuckfarm.com.